McLovin, what kind of poll question are you thinking about today? Okay, I'm going to throw it to Paul Paps for our NFL overtime poll question. NFL overtime. Do we want to get to overtime? We haven't discussed overtime. That's well, I un- think we got to get to it soon. We got Mr. Overtime himself coming on next. I know, but I, Mr. Overtime. don't I have Florio on? We talk overtime and then we get to the poll question? Sound sure. Yeah, that's the way it works because then, like, I don't do it in reverse order. Like a Tarantino movie. Just go and oh, yeah, that- mix it up. <laughs> do I start from the end and work our way back? Travolta gets shot, but then he's in a scene later. Kill Bill. I never saw either of those. Was there two movies, Kill Bill, Kill Bill 2? Volume 1 and Volume 2, yeah. Yeah, I never saw them. Yes, he. But what if the poll question is something that we absolutely need Mike Florio to weigh in on? Okay, all right. Then we're going to, what? oh, what, you're going to interview Mike Florio and then drop the smoking hot poll question and be like, oh, crap, we should have gotten Florio's take on this. This better be a damn good poll question. Okay, Paul. All right, so here's my idea for overtime. I'm calling it no overtime. There's no overtime. In the regular season for the NFL, yeah. games end, and they can end in a tie in regular time. Yeah. Now, while that may see people hate ties in America, we hate ties. But think of the fourth quarter of NFL games that are tied. You won't have the luxury of overtime. The games will be more tense. They'll end on time. Players, if you want to sprinkle in the health factor, they won't play more plays in the regular season. And But in the playoffs, you go with the normal overtime system. But during the regular season, mm. no overtime. I like no overtime. Yeah. I like the philosophy of there is no overtime and how are you going to play this game during the regular season? And ties would be interesting from a strategic factor later in the season. When you're a half game out mm. instead of a whole game out, uh, it could make December more interesting. Possibly. I think we overthink overtime. I gave this very little thought, to be fair. No, that's okay. Oh. That I, I understand there's very little thought. But that's our philosophy around I stand around by it. that. Yes, you sit by it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh no overtime, I'm fine, but then we get to overtime in the playoffs, and then how do you decide, and the coin toss, and all the oh, man. I just like sudden death. You know, if, if you got to overtime, hey, all bets are off, man. It is a flip of the coin. Also, we should run the numbers, and maybe we have. I thought we did this a couple of years ago, that we always think, hey, I want the ball. Hey, overtime, give me the ball first. I don't think the numbers kind of prove that that is the best strategy. Because you get the ball first and you're going to, you can score a touchdown and win the game. Did we do those numbers? Yeah. They're very interesting numbers because in the regular season, getting the ball like at your own 25 yard line, you basically have about a 22% chance of driving down for a touchdown. It's completely debunked in the playoffs, not bunked, but debunked in the playoffs. Nobody bunks. No, nobody bunks. Although I did it with my brother. In 10 playoff games that have gone to overtime since the new system is in place in 2011, of the 10 teams who got the ball first, uh, six of them received the kickoff and scored on the opening drive. So 60% of the teams that got the ball first mm. went the length of the field. Mm. Oddly. Okay. All right, I'll shut up. And uh, we'll uh, settle on that poll question. And boy, it's a good one. No overtime. I will talk to uh, Mike Florio. We'll interrupt his day to ask him some uh, questions. Let's bring in Mike Florio, Pro Football Talk Live co-host. Mike, we are proposing Nover time during the regular season. What do you think? Old school, pre-1974. That's how it used to be. Ties. Do you like ties? I don't like ties. I, and I guess it's on the two teams involved to make sure there isn't a tie. And with so much more scoring now and the two-point conversion – it's easier to avoid a tie than it would have been back in the early 70s and prior to that. I, and Dan, I, you're onto something in this respect. I believe that this push to go back to true sudden death over time with this spot and choose concept, which I actually am intrigued by. Okay, wait, believe- explain that though, Mike. Okay. So this is just proposed of right. a, new, a new overtime uh, possibility. A new overtime possibility proposed by the Ravens. There's two types. There's a sudden death and there's a straight seven and a half minutes. I'm told Bill Belichick prefers that seven and a half minutes of football. Whatever the score is at the end, that's the final score, win, lose, or draw. Spot and choose means in lieu of of a coin flip to determine first possession, one team picks where the first drive begins. For example, our own 20 yard line. The, the minus 20, as the football people call it, your own 20-yard line. One team picks the spot, 
And the other team says whether they're going to take the ball and play offense or give the other team the ball and play defense. It's as equitable as it can be. It's as fair as it can be. It reminds me of the old Sesame Street sketch where, you know, you share a cookie by one person breaks it in half and the other one chooses which half they want. Totally fair. And I think it adds layers and levels of strategy that, that will probably drive coaches and analytics departments crazy. But it's so much better. If you're going to go back to true sudden death, it's so much better than the coin flip. Now, the two ways the Ravens are proposing it, sudden death with up to 10 minutes, or this Belichick preferred seven and a half minutes, play that full amount and whoever's ahead at the end wins, which, which creates, I think, a, an additional strategic angle. If you've only got seven and a half minutes, you wanna make sure that you have enough time to do something with the ball when you get it back. So it, it's just layers and levels of strategy hmm. that, that I think would drive Coach is crazy, but I think it would be fair to both teams. Could I have you start on the one yard line? Well, you could pick the one yard line, but then then the but other then the team... other team gets to choose whether to be offense or defense. Okay. That's okay. the beauty of it. Okay, okay. Thanks. And and I'm told Dan that the analytics people are viewing the 13, the minus 13, as the break even point. That if the the team that picks <laughs> the yard position says 12 or less then that's when you're likely to choose to play defense. 14 or more, you're likely to choose offense in the standard case. But think about it. Your quarterback, how you feel about your defense, how, how you feel about whatever plays you have left in, in, in your game plan for the day, how you feel about your kicker, what the weather conditions are. So many things are going to go into that decision. Are they voting on this? I know it's just a proposal. Does it get put up for vote? Well, they're presenting it to the competition committee to try to get them on board with it. It has more heft, has more weight if the competition committee is behind it. But, but the most important person to have behind it is the commissioner. And my understanding is the commissioner likes it because, number one, it makes the game shorter. And this gets back to the point you're making with Nover time. I think they want the games to be shorter, Dan, not for this year, but I think it's some year down the road, four, five, six, whenever, they're going to start dropping games into more standalone windows. And this Tuesday night football that we saw a couple of times this year, Wednesday afternoon at three o'clock, they're going to get creative about having more standalone games because as gambling proliferates and as real-time in-game betting becomes technologically available where you can sit at home with your phone and what you see at the stadium is what's coming into your home at that moment so there's no latency it it makes more sense to have not nine games being played at once as many games as possible that are the only game where everyone's watching everyone's engaged and everyone's betting one play at a time on those games so you make the game shorter here's why you make the game shorter because you're going to have teams that are playing on a five-day break four-day break six-day break you can't be playing for 70 minutes so I think that's why they want to make the game shorter. So your idea from that perspective is brilliant. Thank you. Because every game is capped at 60 minutes. Could you propose that? I don't, I don't have the commissioner's ear. Could you? <laughs> you think I do? Oh, you don't either? <laughs> uh, no, no. But, 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 but I, he, I'm sure he would not turn up his nose at a good idea. I just think that, that the idea of going back to tie, I, we just have to, we'd have to accept ties. And but the strategy of a tie in the fourth quarter, like imagine that now all of a, it, it changes your philosophy of what you're doing. Instead of how many times we, well, they're playing for overtime. Now you can't play for overtime. Nobody's taking a knee. Yeah. Now you actually are saying, are we comfortable with a tie against this team or do we want to go for a win? Or, or you know, go for one versus go for two. That, that, yes. when, when no overtime was the rule, pre-74, you didn't have that option. That, that, see, that's the beauty of it. I think, and here's where I think they're onto something. The way the game is today, I think that there would be fewer ties and that, and that you know, with, with all the analytics and, the, and the, the strategy and going for two and all the different things you can do, I, I just think that you would see less just kind of shrugging. I think they just used to shrug at a tie. Yeah, it's a tie. Okay, we'll, we'll get them next week. I think it would be far different if that were the case now. 